Ever felt stuck juggling between different tools to design one simple space? What if I told you you could do it all in one place? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Krithika, an architectural illustrator and educator, and I help designers like you to explore smarter and faster ways to bring your ideas to life. In today's video, I'll be designing a cozy and functional kitchen plus dining space using Foyer Neo, a web-based all-in-one interior design tool. That means no need to download anything or have a powerful PC. It works right in your browser and makes the entire design process super smooth. We will go step by step from layout planning to rendering all using this one tool. So whether you are a student, freelancer or just starting out, you are going to love how simple and efficient it is. You can try Foyer Neo free for 14 days. Just check the link in description. All right, let's jump in and start designing. Let's open Foyer Neo in your web browser. Simply type in Foyer Neo and click on the first link you see. Now, here we have the main dashboard of Foyer Neo. At the top right hand side, you can see your profile, your plan, billing and the logout option. On the left hand side, you have option to create a new project. Then you have all your projects, inspiration, gallery, my account, AI design and Foyer services. I will talk more about this service in my next video. Trust me, it's a game changer for your business. In the center, you can create folders for organization. I'm going to create a new project, so simply click on Create Project. Write down the name of your project. I am working on a kitchen interior design. Click Start Now. Here we have the interface of Foyer Neo. In the center, we have the drawing area. At the top left, we have the files from where you can set the dimensions in feet, inches, meters, and millimeters. Here is the option to download the floor plan, upload the floor plan, and in the settings, you can change the wall thickness and toggle all the settings according to your preference. From the wall snapping to object snapping, rural, room titles, guidelines, etc. Then we have the catalog underneath it. And in the catalog, you will find living room, bedroom, kitchen, furniture, building elements, and so many options. You can simply select a folder and search for whatever you like. The library is well organized and you can simply drag drop elements to use them in your project. Then we have the kitchen. In this, we have cabinet styles, accessories, kitchen and dining furniture. So you can simply select whatever you like and drag drop. Then we have the shortlisted. In case you have shortlisted any furniture elements or accessories, they will appear here. Then we have the inspiration folder. You can simply write down whatever you want like kitchen, bathroom, bedroom and it will give you so many options in various styles. I like this one for my kitchen, so I'll simply add this inspiration to my project or I can shortlist all the elements used in this project. And here you can see in the shortlist folder, I have all the furniture that was used in that project. Then I have library. You can upload furniture to it. Then we have the foyer services. At the top, we have selection and the rural. Then we have undo and redo option. In the center, we have the wall option. With the help of this, you can create walls. Then we have the room option. Then we have upload floor plan option. You can export your floor plans from here. Then we have AI assistance, the 2D view and the 3D view. After that, we have the floor plan mode, ceiling plan mode and the background plan mode. So now I will take the room tool and simply click once drag and then here we have the room now you can adjust the walls according to your preference just select the wall and simply drag it and you can adjust the length and the width of the room accordingly it's so simple and easy in case you want to change the wall thickness simply go to the file settings and change the wall thickness now take the wall tool and here you can see i have created a wall with less thickness now let me adjust the room size for the kitchen and the dining and then I will go to the shortlisted elements 
or I can go to the catalog as well and search for the window. But here I have the fixed window. Simply drag drop it on the right hand side wall and here we have it. I will select the window and at the top you will find the options edit, clone, delete, resize, free movement. So I will click on resize and then you can see these squares around the window. Simply click once and drag to resize your window. So by this I have resized the length of the window. Now I will go to the 3D option and from here I will adjust the height of the window and use the left key of your mouse to move around the model. Then select the window again and click on resize option from the top. Select the point and simply drag it. Just one click then drag. Now my window is set it's time to add furniture. On this wall I will add my kitchen counter with the sink and the gas stove. On the right hand side I will have a pantry. On the left side I will have open shelves with a pantry and near the window I will have the dining table. I will go to the 2D mode then go to the shortlisted folder from here I can simply drag drop the kitchen elements or I can go to the catalog as well from there I can search kitchen and here you will find so many options for sink, gas stove, cabinets with different designs, mouldings and handles. You can select according to your preference then simply drag drop and use. You can see how easy and quick it is. Simply within 10 seconds, I have added all these things. You don't need to model anything. Simply drag and drop and here we have it. Later on, I will tell you how to change the materials of these elements. Now, I will add a hob with a cooking range and a storage unit next to it. I want to add a pantry on the left hand side corner of the room. For that, I want a double door shutter. So simply what I will do is in the shortlisted one, I have low dock solid cubes. So I will select it, drag and drop. Here we have it. Select the dock and from the top, you can clone it and simply paste it like this. Adjust the wall according to the size. Now let's see it in 3D. Here you can see I have my kitchen counter. Now for the pantry, I will simply select the element, zoom in and then go to resize option from the top. Select the point and increase its length. Similarly, I will do the same with the second one. Select it, resize it, increase the length to 8 feet and here we have the pantry. Now what I will do is add another element on the left hand side, simply go to 2D view. Then I will go to the shortlisted solid cube. I will put it here in the corner, adjust the wall like this. Then again, I will go to the shortlisted folder. Here you will find one open shelf, simply drag, drop and place it. I will copy the cube, then clone it from the top toolbar. Now I will go to the 3D view and from here I will resize the cube. Then I will select the open shelf and put it in the front. You can use the free movement tool from the top toolbar. Then adjust its movement, place it according to your preference. As you can see right now the depth of the open shelf is not much. So you can resize it. I will copy paste another shelf. Then I will select it, resize it to 2 feet. Then I will select the bottom one as well and resize it. I will keep the length 1 feet 6 inches. So here we have it. Now for the side ones, I will simply select them, increase their height around 6 feet. Now I will copy paste the same on the top. I want to divide these shutters into two parts. One will be 6 feet high and above that I will add 2 feet more. So simply select it, clone it and place it. So now you can see the kitchen is taking shape. You will notice how easy and simple it is. Again, I will go to the shortlisted folder and I will add other elements like chimney, stainless steel basin mixer. Simply place it over the sink. Now if you want to add wall tiles, what you can do is simply take the box from the shortlisted ones, then resize it and make it according to the thickness of the wall tiles like this. I will tell you how to change the material of the furniture that you are using. 
simply select it and at the top you will find the option edit click on it then on the right hand side you will see all the properties here we have texture simply click on the texture then select and replace here you will find option like floor fabric furniture etc i will go to the furniture glossy colors from here i will select gloss white Similarly, I will add the same color to all the panels used in the furniture like this. You can also upload custom textures. Simply click on upload texture. Make sure it is a JPEG or a PNG file less than 5 MB and upload it. Here you can see that I have added all the materials to my kitchen and I have decorated it by adding additional elements like glasses and plants. Now, what I will do is simply go to catalog and write down kitchen. Now, here you will find so many options for pans, for kitchen accessories. Simply drag, drop and use them in your 3D model. These small, small elements make your design look more lively and engaging and it attracts the viewer. Now, if you want to add lights, what you need to do is go to 2D. From here, go to the ceiling plan mode and then simply go to lighting. Like here, I have the pendant, simply drag, drop and place. Now that my 3D model is complete, I have added all the elements. I will go to the take render option at the right hand side top. In the center, you will find the option to adjust the camera height, field of view and the aspect ratio. I will go with 16 by nine. Then let's adjust the angle of the render from the left hand side, you will find the hide option. Then we have the lighting option. You have day, evening and night option. So I'll go with the day, natural day lighting. Then the product lighting. Then we have the sun option, exterior lighting and overall product lighting. I will keep it medium. Then we have the environment. You can select any according to your project type. Then on the left hand side, you can save your view. Then at the bottom, you have the option to preview render and the option to take render. So here you can see the preview is ready. I quite like it. Now I can simply go to take render and here you can see we have render settings like HD, 2K, 4K and 12K. So I am going with the 4K option and clicking on render. Neo's rendering engine is incredibly quick. All your renders are neatly saved in the gallery and you can easily download them from there. It's not just fast, the results are impressively realistic. And that's it. I hope this walkthrough showed you how easy and fun it is to design using Foyer Neo. From layout to final render, all in one place and super beginner friendly. If you are ready to try it out yourself, you can get a 14 days free trial. Just check the link in description and don't forget to use my code Kritika50 for exclusive discount. Let me know in the comments what would you like to see me design next. And of course, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.